All right, so this is quickly becoming a, a real favorite setup of mine, and the reason why is because obviously I can capture twice as much data at once. But I've had people ask me, like, can you point this thing and expect to get good guiding? And yes, you can, but there's some things you should be aware of. So, number one, as long as you're pointing at the same target that your guide camera is pointed at, you're going to get good tracking, okay, and, and good guiding. But if you take this thing, let's say you point it off at some other part of the sky, which most often you're going to want to do that, um, then your polar alignment needs to be just about perfect. And in order to do that, you know, I know this mount has a really good polar finder scope, but there's also software you can get. I know there's the pole masters you can get to attach on here. And this is the ZWO ASI Air. It has a polar alignment routine in it, which allows you to get polar alignment dialed in very, very well with this particular setup. So some other things that you should take into consideration. I typically take much shorter exposures with this camera than I do with this guy down here. And I do that because this guy dithers and I know that it's going to ruin a frame every once in a while. In order to minimize that, I, I just use a shorter exposure. So if I'm doing five minute subs on this guy, typically I'm doing two minutes or one minute subs on this guy. There is only one drawback with a rig like this, and that is that that camera is mounted quite high up over the telescope. Now Olympus cameras are pretty light, and actually the, the ball head, the Manfrotto ball head that I have there, weighs as much as this camera and this lens. And I do, I operate this camera to even reduce weight more without batteries. I just run a DC power cable up to the camera, and that kind of lightens up the whole rig quite a bit. But just the same, balancing something like this, a little bit of a challenge, I should say, not necessarily difficult. When you're moving it around, that's kind of when the challenges start to kind of creep up because you got to be careful that you don't suddenly alter the balance of the telescope itself. Now, a better way to rig something like this up would be to set up a side-by-side -side rail system, and I'm going to do that eventually. I just have to see and see this thing out. I've already got it drawn up in CAD.